In an effort to improve modern image classification techniques, topological features can play a significant role. In this video, we show how our algorithm to generate the topological signature works, by running them on 3D meshes and computing their persistence. Consider the point cloud sampled uniformly from the 3D model of a kitten. We subsample the point cloud to an epsilon's sparse delta net. Then form the simplicial complex by connecting each point to its 20 nearest neighbors. The complex is reduced in size by a succession of collapse operations. We choose every 17th vertex using the Morton ordering to collapse it to its nearest neighbor. As shown in this model, points with similar color are close in the total Morton ordering. Once we know which vertices are to be collapsed, we generate a sequence of simplicial complexes connected with simplicial maps. The data is sparsified by collapsing the chosen vertices and all corresponding higher order simplices. Notice that the kitten's tail has a big cycle. This results in a feature in the 1D homology which persists for a long time. There is a second smaller cycle around the cross section of the tail. The barcode for the kitten data is shown. The count for the number of one-dimensional homology cycles is 2, as denoted by the red lines. Next we look into some more examples on which we ran the algorithm. We apply this same technique to calculate persistence of images as mentioned in the paper. Consider the tiny image dataset Cypher 10. We calculate persistence for every image by taking the RGB and location of each pixel as a vertex in the point cloud. For this image of the green colored frog, we transform each pixel to R5. For visualization purpose, we map the point cloud to R3 using the t-distributed stochastic neighbor embedding. This is the resulting Morden ordering for the complex. We form the initial complex the same way as for the 3D meshes, subsampling the point cloud and connecting each point to its nearest neighbors. Finally, the complex undergoes a series of collapse operations to generate the persistence signature. Here we see the barcode for some sample images. The barcodes are appended to the feature vector to be used for training. For the convolutional neural network, they are added to the fully connected layer. As mentioned in the paper, both these cases have shown an improvement in accuracy, precision and recall.